It's lonesome away from your kindred and all. This self-isolation is beginning to go. But there's nothing more lonesome, morbid or drear, than not knowing just when we shall get the all clear. The doctors and nurses are saving our lives, away from their children, their husbands, their wives. They know that the virus is a terrifying pest, so government please hurry with equipment and a test. Friends and relations show kindness galore. With fruit, bread and milk they leave at the door. But there's nothing more daft, more wholesome, more hearty than eight over seventies having a laugh on house party. So I'm walking round the cricket fields and bogs, avoiding the walkers, abluting their dogs. And wondering if I will survive this ordeal. So I'll head back for home and my solitary meal. In these times there are benefits, I'm sure you'll agree. So let me tell you what's in it for me. Though you won't believe it and you'll think that it's queer. But it's been three weeks now without whiskey or beer. Never before have we had such trouble and strife. It'll be nearly six months without my dear wife. But there's one thing I'll tell you while she is away. I'm locked in the house and I can't go astray. So I'll bore you no more and I'll bid you farewell. And I hope that you'll all survive happy and well.